types of ovarian cysts ovarian cysts are very common they can vary in size from less than the size of a pea to the size of a large melon occasionally even larger there are various types of cysts which include functional ovarian cysts are the most common type they form during the menstrual cycle and are benign which means they are not cancerous these cysts normally shrink within 60 days or go without any treatment these are of two types follicle cysts and corpus luteum cysts follicle cysts ovary releases an egg every month for fertilization ovulation which grown in small sac called follicle follicle cysts develop when a follicle does not open to release an egg follicle may fill up with a fluid and continue growing into a cyst these cysts often have no symptoms and usually disappear in 1 to 3 months corpus luteum cysts these form if the follicle sac that released the egg does not shrink into a group of cells called corpus luteum in the usual way but fills with fluid they usually disappear within weeks but can grow to almost 4 inches across they can also twist the ovary causing pain and bleeding some medicines used to cause ovulation can raise the risk of getting these cysts Endometriomas or chocolate cysts are cysts that form in the ovaries due to endometriosis which is a disease when tissue similar to the lining of the uterus grows in other places in the body this occurs when the cells of the uterine lining grow in or around the ovaries or on the uterus these cysts fill with blood the old blood within these cysts looks like chocolate and so these cysts are sometimes called chocolate cysts they are benign it can cause pain during menstruation and sex infertility etc dermoid cysts also called a teratoma this cyst forms from reproductive cells that make eggs in the ovary germ cells the cyst can contain tissue such as hair skin or teeth fatty tissue etc this is because these cysts develop from stem cells which make skin cells and other similar cells these stem cells are normally found in the skin but in the case of a dermoid cyst they have become trapped in the wrong area during early development as a fetus Mucinous cystadenomas these are cysts that filled with mucus or watery fluid these types of cysts are often attached to an ovary by a stalk rather than growing within the ovary itself some grow very large and can be surgically removed they are usually benign but some are cancerous Polycystic ovary syndrome PCOS is a hormonal disorder that leads to the development of multiple small cysts on the ovaries and causing the ovaries to enlarge PCOS is associated with period problems reduced fertility hair growth obesity and acne some women have polycystic ovaries ovaries with many cysts on them but don't have PCOS it's more common in younger women but tends to go away over time polycystic ovaries without pcos are essentially normal and they don't mean that there is a problem nabothian cysts are harmless bumps that sometimes form when skin cells clog glands in the cervix if your provider notices them during a pelvic exam don't worry they are common and usually don't require an treatment at all to be continued